Let's welcome back to the show from House Judiciary Congressman Daryl Issa. Congressman, it's great to see you too. Congressman, it looks like voters are waking up to the Hunter Biden story. USA Today poll, the majority, more than half, 52% say, yeah, a probe into Hunter Biden is, quote, warranted, including one out of five Democrats, Congressman. Well, absolutely. And that's what we'll do when we take the majority, hopefully in both houses. Uh, you know, obviously, people are more concerned about the economy. But as they look at us fixing that, they very much want us to stop the kind of corruption and nepotism your previous people have been speaking about. And Congressman, Representative James Comer, can you talk to us about this? He's a GOP ranking member of House Oversight. Sent a letter to the FBI director demanding information on Hunter Biden's personal assistant from China, Chachi Bao, believed to be connected to the upper ranks of China's Communist Party, that she infiltrated the Biden's family's deals with China, including selling natural gas out of U.S. states to China. No word of denial yet from her. Well, we see no word of denial. We believe that it's true. Uh, you know, the Oversight Committee doesn't ask questions without knowing at least some part of it being true. And there's no question that this is one of those times in which, just like Eric Swalwell, the Chinese had the front door with uh, Hunter Biden. They also had the back door with this assistant. So Representative Comer says in his letter that Bao gave Hunter insight into how the Biden family could make millions of dollars selling nat gas out of U.S. states to China, that she had access to the Biden family's financial information. And that's concerns about national security here. Well, absolutely. I have access to uh, Hunter Biden's uh, financial records, too. He was loose with them when he gave up that laptop with, uh, you know, one, two, three, four type passwords. So, so that means that if he is, has access to the president's financial information and what's going on with him, that that leaves the door wide open, no? Absolutely. The, uh, the exchanges, the financial back and forth between Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and Jim Biden uh, are all well documented, and Hunter was at the center of it all. Okay, so we've got comedian Jon Stewart. Now Jon Stewart... Is, by the way, we're showing the map that was presented to the Biden family. It's in Mandarin Chinese. Congressman, you and I have talked about this. It's highlighting where the Nat gas reserves could have come out of, out of the U.S. to China. And apparently it was pre prepared by this per private secretary Hunter Biden had hired, who was working ostensibly, potentially, allegedly with Chinese communist top ranks. Let's listen to John Stewart on what's going on. Watch this. As far as, like, look, Hunter Biden being on the board of... Uh, Burisma. Gazprom, Bur that would be Burisma, really bad. that's right, Burisma. Uh, to me, that's corruption straight up off the bat. The idea that nepotism would allow much larger amounts of money to flow into the hands of people unqualified uh, to be in the positions that they've been accepted because you think those countries are trying to buy influence? Yeah, welcome to the world well big mistake it turned out the laptop was real really really there because we suppressed this story three weeks out from an election that could have made a difference. do you know what i mean there was none of that it was just like yeah but we looked at it and it's just kind of oof, business as usual reaction congressman all true all all verified and substantiated the only thing it isn't is funny you know congressman getting back i shouldn't say that bow prepared that document with the map of, to the Biden family of how to get the that gas out of the U.S. to China. That's what the House GOP allegation is, but that she had an inside seat on it because she was connected and trained by basically, let me just get, get it, uh, for, by Qingqiao University recruiting hub for China's intelligence and then work for China's National Development Commission, which pr approves Chinese projects in the U.S. that get foreign funding. Your final word. Hunter Biden thought he was selling the Chinese, but the Chinese were really selling him on, to a great extent, betraying his country by uh, co-opting the vice president, now president of the United States. We're going to stay on the story. Congressman Issa, you'll be back soon. Thanks for joining us tonight.